today I kind of I want to get the exterior ready to start painting as much as I can I still need to do a trip into town to get some more small rivets but I'm going to get out a Dremel 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 and just tidy up around the railing area I want to start painting but the tricky part is trying to figure out what day to start because the forecast keeps changing. At the moment it just looks like it's going to seriously rain in two days. But I thought I'd start. I still need to go into town, finish sealing a couple of spots. But I could um, clean, get the surface ready to paint. That's at least step one, right? probably shouldn't start on this side because I still need to do a couple of things so maybe I'll start on that side because the sun's gonna go that way and there's only one window to tape up <laughs> for a pet. So I popped into town yesterday and found this. I'm super excited. It means I can start properly sealing the caravan. Since we realize water's coming in around the window rubbers, I think I'm going to try this stuff. It looks promising. I basically cleared them out at the hardware store. I <laughs> got them all and then I bought some more small rivets so I'm going to pause on the painting and I'm going to really focus on sealing the caravan because I know it's going to rain tomorrow so that will be a good check This has gone really, really windy. I'm taking a break, <laughs> but I think I've done all the rivets and all the sealant that I still needed to do. Oh, well, there's a picture of a caravan there. I've done the three smaller windows, hopefully that helps. A few things I've learnt with this, holes will appear <laughs> and the tip will keep falling off. You don't really need uh, tape all the way around. It cleans pretty good, although it's kind of left a, um, a greasy looking film on parts of the window. So I guess I'll have to clean that at some point. So we'll see. So back to trying to seal Vinny today. Now 
dug up my rubber paint, I'm going to slather it over any possible place water is coming in. I have to get rid of this. I think this has uh, come through from the other side. And I managed to do that one. I'm also going to get this side ready to paint. I'm going to put this all around the windows. Ready to go. Initial thoughts before you start? Not in a language I can use on YouTube. <laughs> it's all f <laughs> I haven't done my hair yet. <laughs> so what's your plan? Uh, do my hair and then you can start videoing me. <laughs> So after the dog chewed a little bit of the cable here, I uh, took a little bit of an investigation. I can see that it's uh, quite taped up here and there's more connections already uh, being cut and spliced in here already. So I um, thought it would be time for, a, for an overhaul. So we're going to put a female end uh, which is normally on a car. This will go on the caravan and be fixed there. So it will be tucked up out the way. and. Um, and won't get um, damaged and then we'll have a, an extension cord which will go from here to the car so whenever um, you park up you can actually take your extension cord away and it won't be dangling or caught up or, or anything in the, in the front of the caravan Here it is, the new one Hey, you want some earmuffs? <laughs> so after getting the cable all the way through uh, to this end, I then drilled a hole at the back here and then back threaded it so it came out through this hole. Five is blue. Come to inspect, Joe. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna help. Do you want the screwdriver? <laughs> He's like, why aren't you understanding what I want? <laughs> <laughs> you want some love? Oh. Just gotta hold it in position while I drill your fingers. So I've raced around the top part of the caravan with the primer, bottom coat, what's it called, primer? The tricky part with this paint is you have to be fast, you can't go over one spot too many times or the paint starts lifting off. It's a little bit like nail polish, you, you got to kind of just leave it be or start from scratch again. I'm going to let this dry and then get out the paintbrush and do the fiddly bits. Do you need me to hold it from the other side? Oh yeah. Ah. How did you know what colour went where? And they're all not standard to what we do in New Zealand now. 
for the colours. These two cables here went up to the front lights, which turn on when the tail lights come on. So I deducted that that red was actually the tail lights. And I confirmed that because it's the only cable that goes into the license plate light. Uh, and it also goes into both sides, left and right. Yeah. The red. And then there was a black going into the right hand side and mm. not going into the left hand side. <laughs> so I deducted that the, the black was that right hand indicator. <laughs> nice. And on the other side it was the white was by itself. Mm. So that must be the left hand indicator. Nice. And all that left with was green, which must have been the stoplight. Sweet. Hey. Lights are on. Don't do the brake. Good to see. Good to see. Hayden's done a nice job. That possible rain cloud has to stay over there. I don't want it raining on Vinny at this stage. Not today.